guys it's sabria welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hit the subscribe button down below today i'll be giving you guys a tutorial on how to do a half quick weave half tape in install featuring wig dealer bundles and tape ins first we started out by pouring our hair in half going from behind each ear and then we're going to start pouring out our leave out so that our install can go into a ponytail and i'm just pouring out my leave out using my infamous trick to just see if i can see the comb through my leave out and this is how your leave out should look once you're done and it's all parted away now we're going to get into our mold and I was really having a hard time debating how I wanted to do my mold, but I'm glad I did it this way because it was very seamless. So I just did two French braids using my ORS gel, and then I sewed those braids up. So after sewing those braids up, I'm going in with my Robert Diamonds Protective Shield onto my cap, and then I'm going to sit under the dryer for about 10 minutes. So this is how my cap looks all dry. So now I'm just going to strain my leave out. I am using 26, 28, and 30 inch bundles from Wig Dealers Cambodian Collection and I'm using 22 inch tape ins. So for the quick weave part of this install, you're going to want to lay all your tracks going into a U shape to go towards your face. This helps to ensure seamlessness. You won't be able to detect where the tape ends and when the quick weave starts to end. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me install all of the tracks and then I do stop and show when I start laying my tracks going side to side. It's at the very top of the install. <laughs> As you can see, I just kept laying them into you until I had about this much space left and then I laid those tracks side to side to fill that up. So now I'm just going to flutter um, the top of my head to do the tape ins. I did put all my heat protecting and spray in my hair off camera. Now let's get into installing the tape ends. It can look confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. So I just started off by pouring out my perimeter so I'm able to put it up into a ponytail or half up, half down. And I did want to add a side part in, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So I started off pouring out how much hair I needed to cover up for my middle part, and now I'm pouring out where I want my side part to be. So after pouring out where you want your actual part to be, you're just going to pour out how much hair it's going to take to cover those tape ends on each side of the part. right here is going to be tape ends and I did have two packs of 22 inch and I'm going to lay all my tape ends going towards my face so I pick where I want the tape end to be and then I only sandwich the hair that the tape end catches um, this ensures that you don't put too much hair in the tape or not enough whatever hair sticks to the tape end that's how much is going in my sandwich and then I just lay the second tape in on top and since I did use two bundles, I split each bundle for, you know, both sides of my middle part. So basically, one bundle is on the left side, one bundle is on the right side. And it did come with 20 pieces in each bundle. Therefore, I had 10 tape in sandwiches on each side.
have my first row of tapings installed on this side of my head. And I did part out a big section before I started again because I did only have like maybe eight sandwiches left. So I'm not going to be able to fill up that whole side of my head with eight tapings or eight sandwiches. So therefore, I decided to part out, you know, a big section and then have the top of my head as closest to my leave out as full as possible. That way it's going to cover up my real hair and you're not going, going to be able to see the indentation of my real hair or tape ends. But you, I hope that makes sense. But in the end, you guys will see how it end up looking right with me only having eight sandwiches left. If y'all have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll do my best to explain. But I feel like tape ends, you have to just kind of watch. It's not much to really explain. Now all my tapings are installed and I'm going to go in with my camera blow dry spray to blow dry my whole head. This is the finished product. I absolutely love how this came out. Like I'm wearing my hair like this all summer, but it's just so seamless. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. And especially with like doing the half quick weave, all my hair isn't out, so it's not too much to maintain, but I could also do a lot of different stuff with it. Like I love this. And I really liked that these bundles and tape ins, they were really good quality and the tape ins were really full. Like I said, I only used two bundles, but let me know what y'all think in the comments as well as any tutorials you guys want to see. Make sure you like and comment on this video and see y'all later.